Hi, my name is Rick Wright. I work at the Career Center, which is a free service available at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System in Louisiana. And the people we see at the Career Center, they want to change or advance their career. And these folks frequently ask, how can I gain new skills in a certified way without having to go back to school full time? And the answer is MOOCs which stands for Massive Open Online Courses. Online courses started in 2008 and became increasingly popular around 2012. And they're great because anyone can access them over the internet and they can be a great, often inexpensive way to gain more skills and knowledge that can help you land a new job or advance your career. Massive open online courses come in all shapes and sizes. Some offer peer grading, forums, even collaborative groups. And studies show that collaborative groups increase the chances that a person will finish a course. Most massive open online courses heavily feature video training. They often include quizzes and tests. Some platforms even offer certificates, diplomas, and degrees. And this is great if you need to demonstrate your mastery over a subject on paper. Massive open online courses tend to be free or, at the very least, inexpensive. They'll typically offer the training for free, then charge a fee for the certification. Regardless, massive open online courses are almost always less expensive than earning a degree at a college or university. You can find massive open online courses for almost any specialty, such as computers and IT, photography, business management, and more. A growing number of massive open online courses have begun to partner with institutions of higher learning and are backed by prominent universities such as Stanford, MIT, Harvard, and so on. And this is an important factor in how much weight massive open online courses carry with employers. We're going to take a look at four massive open online courses that have strong reputations, are the most recognized, and are most likely to help you advance your career. The massive open online courses we'll look at are Coursera, edX, Udacity, and Udemy. Let's start with Coursera. Coursera is one of the most noteworthy massive open online courses. The platform collaborates with more than 200 institutions and companies. Coursera offers online courses, guided projects, online specializations, online certificates, and online degrees. The course durations range from four to six weeks. Coursera offers free and paid training, lectures, exercises, forums, quizzes, and project-based learning opportunities. With Coursera, you can gain a new skill in as little as two hours. Coursera is interactive and offers practice using tools in real-world scenarios. You'll get visual instruction from experts to help you become things like a Google IT support professional, an IBM cybersecurity analyst. Next, let's talk about edX. edX offers online training on a wide range of subjects that include science and engineering, humanities, and social sciences. edX is structured similarly to departments at universities. Indeed, edX is backed by several prestigious universities. And subjects offered at edX are influenced by industry-leading companies. And this makes sense because these companies need skilled employees over the long term. At edX, you can audit courses for free and you pay to receive the credentials that you earn. edX offers something they call a micro-bachelors. 
It's a training program that includes two or three courses. And you will earn a certificate. This micro bachelor's is even transferable to college credit, which can lead to a bachelor's degree. Similarly, edX also offers a micro master's. edX hosts professional certificate programs. These are a series of courses taught by industry leaders and top universities. The goal of the professional certificate programs is to enhance professional skills needed for in-demand fields. Professional certificate programs at edX are available for things like corporate finance, agile project management, even public library management. edX offers online master's degrees from several top universities. These online master's degrees are more expensive than other training offered at edX. However, they're still less expensive than a traditional master's degree. Third, let's look at Udacity. While edX emulates the campus structure of education, Udacity is a little different. At Udacity, you'll get a compact online curriculum. Udacity emphasizes skills that top companies want, primarily in technology fields. The training offered at Udacity focuses on learning by doing projects and hands-on exercises. At Udacity, you can earn something called a nano degree. These nano degrees are two to five months in length and require about 10 hours of your time per week. This program includes a capstone project in fields like data management, cybersecurity, and cloud development. Most nano degrees at Udacity have prerequisites and the training is certified. And as of this time, a nano degree at Udacity costs about $1,350 or $340 per month. Fourth, let's talk about Udemy. Udemy is a leading online training platform with some 150,000 courses. And the subjects include business, design, photography, development, marketing, IT and software, personal development, and music. Courses at Udemy cost on average $100 with discounts and special offers that run frequently. At Udemy, you pay for a course and you receive lifetime access to that course. And this is great if you ever need to brush up on something you learned a while back. Whatever you learn through Udemy, you'll always get a certificate of completion to document your education. Udemy is available for free to East Baton Rouge library patrons. Grab your library card and visit the digital library at ebrpl.com. Your library card number on the back of the card will give you free access to 4,000 courses at Udemy. This is a hugely valuable resource for anyone interested in upping their game. In conclusion, there really is no clear consensus about which massive open online courses are best and which classes and credentials are recognized and taken more seriously by employers. However, massive open online courses are a great way to learn something new. Many businesses and organizations do recognize such education. And even if they don't measure the education in a formally accredited way, you'll always get points for being self-motivated. So, do your research and ask around. A great place we found to do that research is at mooclab.club. When you find a platform that offers the subject and level of accreditation and a price point that works for you, keep in mind the following tips. Do not take classes at random. Focus on classes clearly related to your field. 
look at reviews for a course before taking it. And where everything else is equal, take the accredited course over the unaccredited course. And again, where everything else is equal, take courses that are by or in partnership with prestigious universities. It never hurts to put the name of the university on your resume. Commit to this style of education and master the skills before moving on to other courses. Learning something new can be fun and interesting. It can also demonstrate to a future employer that you are interested in a particular field, and that you are trying to improve yourself. All good things that hiring managers love to see. What's most important, however, is that you come away from your training able to demonstrate the skill. It's when you're able to do that, you'll be able to get hired in that role. So good luck and get learning. I'm Rick Wright with the Career Center. If you enjoyed this presentation and want more content like this, visit careercenterbr.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.